Hey, this is Matt from The Second Spirit, and I'm going to show you real quick how to make a auto-loading default template that is you, what you like instead of this Ableton one. This Ableton one that default loads has a couple things that I don't like. So you can have one that opens up all kinds of stuff that you like, like uh, tracks, mappings, VSTs, the clips. You can have everything in there. And uh, anytime you want, just uh, anytime you open up Ableton, it will just load up for you. So here, I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. Uh, and then I'll do more stuff in the video later. And also I have a free giveaway that you can learn about later, but I'm just going to show you quick. So you don't have to be bothered by anything. You just go to options, preferences, save as default, override this default set. Yes. Uh, it's down file folder. So options, preferences, file folder, save as default, boom. There you go. This is what's going to load every time you open up Ableton. Um, now, if you want to override that and have the original one, you go to file and you click shift and you click new live set and that will open up the original, uh, the original live set. Like I showed you this one, see that one there. So that's how you do that. Or if you want to do it when you're just uh, loading Ableton from a menu, uh, you just click shift and then when you push Ableton, you hold down shift, and it'll automatically load the original one. So it won't load your new one. Now, if you want to have more templates, you create a folder in your user library called templates and you can have eight track, 16 track. You can have different types of templates in here. Maybe you got a, uh, a rompler MIDI track, MIDI template, you could just uh, start saving them in here, your different templates. Now you have to make this template folder in the user library. And then anything that you load from here is going to load up as an untitled Ableton live set. And it'll be saved as a template so that your work won't be saved on it. You would have to save that project as a new project. And then uh, it'll keep the template in its template form. Now for this, uh, I have a uh, channel strip I use on everything. So I like to have my channel strip on every track that I have because it just makes things so much easier, brings up some levels and stuff and a little compression and things. And that's my free giveaway. If you want to get this channel strip, just go to the second spirit.com and you can get it for free if you sign up for my newsletter. So I have that right now. I have this channel strip in each one of my tracks. So when I auto load a project, I don't have to worry about making all that and doing that. I also have, uh, I set this cue level down because it's always too loud when I'm trying to count into it with the clicks on account and it's just blasting in my ears. Uh, maybe not for you guys, but for me. So I set the cue level to 55%. I got an instrument return and a vocal return. I usually do more returns, but just start out with, I like to keep the vocals separate from the instruments. If I'm doing stems later, I could do an instrumental real quick with the instrumental effects and not have the vocal effects bleeding into it. That's why I have those separate. So I have my channel strips and this is just a good go-to one that I have for myself. You can make whatever the heck you want. You could have a million tracks, 255 gazillion tracks. It will save uh, clips, audio, MIDI mappings, all that stuff. So just remember, go to options, preferences, file folder, save as default. That's all you need to do to save it. Make this template folder in your user library. And you could start putting in 16 track, 8 track, all kinds of new templates for yourself. And uh, again, this is Matt from The Second Spirit. If you want to grab that channel strip, just go to thesecondspirit.com. I'll have a link here in the show notes where you can get it for free with an, if you sign up for my newsletter. It really helps out. I've made it complicated. I've made it bare. Something about this channel strip, it just, the functions here, everything just make things so much easier and it just works. So anyway, this is Matt from the Second Spirit. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.